Welcome back to another vlog in London. We are currently on our way to the PETA headquarters. For those who don't know who PETA are, they are the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. They're a worldwide animal rights organization. Probably one of the most well-known, if not the most well-known, animal rights vegan organizations in the world. So they've asked me to do, well, PETA UK have asked me to do a protest for them today. So we're just heading there now and they're going to be doing my makeup and I'm going to be dressing as a crocodile so they're going to be doing like a crocodile makeup look and then I'm going to stand out the front of Hermes who sell crocodile skins. They profit from the abuse and murder of crocodiles amongst numerous other species in the name of fashion. It's absolutely disgraceful and yeah so just going to be bringing light to that and I think I'll be pouring blood on myself too. So, off we go. Cool, see you there.
we take the dressing gown off now? Getting a bit of a crowd.
Are looking forward to me, okay? Okay, sure. And um, could you please tell me uh, why did you decide to have the idea for the protest today and to start? Yes, please. Yeah, so I decided to do the protest today to specifically highlight the cruelty happening in the crocodile industry where crocodiles in, are enslaved, tortured, abused and murdered to be turned into fashion items such as handbags and shoes. So I'm here to highlight the cruelty happening to those individuals in the fashion industry. And why is it specifically Hermes today? Well, there's recently been an expose that have investigated crocodile farms in the Northern Territory in Australia. And this is a direct supplier to Hermes. So the cruelty has shown crocodiles being electrocuted, tortured, living in filthy environments in tiny pools of water. Um, and they're electrocuted and brutally murdered. Um, there was even in the expo, say, showing screwdrivers being put into their brains. So they're brutally tortured, abused and murdered. And this is a direct supplier to Hermes. So we're here to expose that cruelty. And do you, do you expect that more protests are coming yes. towards this subject in the future? Yes, absolutely. I think the more exposés that are highlighting and showing the atrocities happening to non-human animals, not only in the fashion industry, but also the meat, dairy and egg industries, the animal exploitation industries such as entertainment and racing, um, there's definitely going to be a whole lot more protests towards these industries, calling for the abolition of them and for people to go vegan and stop contributing to the animal holocaust. Thank you, thank you so much. much. Thank really you. appreciate it. No, you thank too. You. Thank, you. thank you. It's great to meet you. Likewise. Cheers. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. See you. Thank you. thank you. So we've just finished up the demonstration outside here. We've got the guys cleaning up a bit of the leftover of the bloodied mess. Um, and yeah, I think overall it was a good protest. It's bringing light the, to the atrocities happening to crocodiles in the recent expose, as I just mentioned in that media interview. 
in Northern Territory. It's exposed the horrific cruelty these individuals experience throughout their short lives before they're brutally murdered to be turned into fashion items. It's absolutely disgusting. And these places like Hermes, Louis Vuitton, other big fashion stores are turning their bodies into items and selling them literally for tens of thousands of dollars. So it's just disgusting. Um, so I think it was a good protest. I felt a bit uncomfortable in the high heels. I don't wear high heels, so I felt a little bit weird, but it's nothing compared to what those individuals are going through. So yeah, it was good. Watch Dominion on YouTube.